All right, I'm live. Let me just do the usual stuff. I think everything is set up. Okay, where were we last time? I said draw, draw this. Can't I just say? H S dot draw and that should be fine. I think. And the draw function is done here. The problem is that we don't have ID as well. We want the hero model at active ID to be the one that you you see as being active. Uh, it's hard to explain, but I guess you'll see. So we need to add to the selector list. And the first one we add is... Oh, we have the active ID there. I see. Then we don't need this. Active ID. 
So first it adds the one that's active. Um oh yeah. New hero mon selector CM Why do I need the hero ID? I don't think I do need this. I think the hero mod itself has an ID already. Yeah. So I don't need this one. Parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. All oh, right, We're missing one. So first we add the one with active ID, and now it becomes more complicated. We need a for loop that begins with a zero. And it's less than team dot hermons dot count. I think it should be called. Yeah. And oh, player team maybe is better to use. I plus plus. And if I isn't equal to layer team dot active ID, I think this is perfect. I think this will work just fine. New hero mon selector CM and player team dot hero mons i I'm not sure how far I am from getting like a result that you can view but I'll test play it and it crashes okay not set an instance of an object. The selector list, yeah, I get it. We need to say that selector list equals new select. Oh, list here on selector, yeah. Okay, let's play it again. Okay, now it runs. What happens when I click on switch? Nothing. And that might be good. No crash. I think we're... I think the issue is here, in battle. We have the switch choice dot update, which is empty right now. We actually have the switch choice dot draw. have a draw function here we do okay it 
It's probably something simple, but for each hero mon selector in selector list, there should be one. Have we created a switch choice? I'm sure we have. Switch choice with team one. I want to be sure if we're getting here. Uh, console dot right line. So no, actually, we're not getting any output. Okay, that's bad. So we're not getting here. We're obviously getting to K0 in K1. But K2. So maybe we're not. Maybe we're not in phase two. Oh, fight. That's wrong. I can't back. That's something I have to add. Switch. No. No output. Okay, so we're not in phase two then. So, initial choice. I think something is happening here. Phase result from clicking switch button. Switch button. And it takes button ID. And it's button. So if button ID is two, then it makes the switch button. Update. Click returns an integer. If button ID is two, then face result is three. There we have it. So we are in face three. Okay. What's wrong with that? All I have to do then is change this to the case to three and this one to three. Oh, hi, <laughs> Robin and Nuri. I didn't see you there. Mm, switch. Oh, nice. It worked. I just have to move the image to, to the right and a little bit down and animate it. to the right maybe 50 and 25 
Oh, yeah. We need to... Huh. This somehow doesn't work. The update function isn't running. Because we haven't told it to run. Selector HS in selector list. HS dot update and yeah, I think it should work. Switch. Oh, that looks shitty. <laughs> that looks really bad. <laughs> Hmm. We got the math wrong. Here. Iterator times box dot x. with instead maybe oh no 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 um okay So in first loop this should be zero, so iterator is zero times something becomes zero, and when it becomes one... <laughs> I could actually just say 150 probably, and I think this will work. Yeah, uh, work. it works just like I want it to. Hmm. Yeah, actually, this is perfect. I need a background. don't know what it should look like but at the moment I can have it be oh actually I, ha I had a reference image let's see if I can find it There's the <laughs> reference image for how I want it to look like. And yeah, I could just. <laughs> I wonder if I can just copy that image. And paste it, yeah. <laughs> Paint is wonderful. Just feel... Maybe I can just delete, yeah. And take that color and delete. And I have my background. Let me save it. 
switch background. And let's import UI. Switch background. Okay. So I need a private texture 2D, BG texture, and pri no, that's that's all I need. BG texture equals new texture 2D, no, <laughs> cm.load textures and UI and switch background. And first we SB dot draw BG texture new rectangle at position zero zero and BG texture dot width BG texture dot height <laughs> crash parentheses is expected Oh, right. There we go. Switch. Oh, nice. I just have to move this all a little bit. I think this will, this will look pretty good. And I should have... I don't know, the button to go back should be in this left frame, I think, somewhere. Bottom left, maybe? Or do I want it in top left and have the information at the bottom, maybe? I don't know. Uh... kind of lost in my thoughts. Oh yeah, 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 move it. And... If case is zero, maybe 50 and 200. I think that will do it. Switch. Yeah, that looks at least a little bit better. I also need private, let's add it further up. right font and uh, let's just call it let's call it font I don't think we need to give it a specific name oh hi independent video <laughs> uh, VS code film atom It might just be me being ignorant, but I'll have to Google it. Oh, 
is it the, the text editor you're thinking about? I don't know, I've always kind of used Visual Studio, so I'm using the one I feel most comfortable with. Uh, let's see... Yeah, font, okay. Uh, let's add a sprite font. Selector font, maybe. Rubik right now. Uh, do, 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 do. 14 might be appropriate. Font equals cm dot. Load. Let's just try and draw out the name. I have the name. It's kind of weird. Hint. <laughs> Okay, so now it has a name at least, well, almost. Yeah. I'll just add it here. Name equals what is it called again? Hmm. I have to look at my older project to see what I actually named this here on. I left this. Okay. Let's just give it this base value and comment change this should be based on hero mom ID. So when I when I fix this uh, when it's importing the stats based on the hero mom ID, it's also importing the name ID or set name manually so basically when you when you obtain a new hero mon you should be able to name it just like in the pokemon games but right now it should be electors i'm going to have to change this i'm going to have to add this method before I finish the selector completely. And the position. Should be box.x plus 
Hmm. I'm gonna have to change how this works later too, because the name. Or maybe if I do it like this, box dot x plus twenty. How big is the box? It's based on the frame's size, and the frame is. 250, 250. So maybe 175 or 190 or something. Color dot. Some dark color. Let's try this khaki or whatever it's called, I've never heard of it. Okay, what does this look like? Switch. Electos, okay. The name is pretty... Yeah, the color of the name is pretty bad. And I should probably move it a bit further up. Maybe even put the level in the same room. So even writing like this. Level. Oh. <laughs> Plus. Hero mon dot level. Plus. Plus and have some spacing maybe one space is enough and change the color dark olive green maybe yeah that looks okay level 5 electors And also SB dot draw string font HP plus Heromon dot current health plus slash maybe have some spacing plus hero mon dot actual stats dot hp i think or the actual hmm. I believe it's actual stats.hp, which is the max HP. And new vector two box dot x plus Twenty again, and box dot y plus, and we have one hundred and ninety, and we have fourteen in font size, so it should at least be like mm, at least two hundred five, maybe two hundred eight. 
color dots dark olive green again. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Looks fine. I'm going to try attacking once. And my HP is 4 out of 10. And it says 4 out of 10. That's perfect. And if I click on it, I should be adding new buttons below it, I think. To be able to view more information. Each selector, or maybe the switch choice has these buttons. It's hard to keep track of them when each hero selector has them. Let's open MS Paint then. The frames were 150 and 150, I think, or yeah, something like that, right? So the width should be 150 and the height maybe 50. Mm. No, let's make it way thinner. lighter and have it outline the whole thing and I want this color again here and then have a really light color fill with hmm is 14 too big 11 hmm it's gonna look really bad on 11 I think somewhere in the middle I think <laughs> oh yeah I knew the quality would 
be a lot worse. Oh, wait, you're not seeing, sorry. This is what my switch button looks like right now. And let me save it. Uh, selector switch button and import it to the UI. Selector switch button. Each selector. No, wait. Um, the switch choice needs a private integer to keep track of which ones you have clicked on. So if you have clicked on like your third hero mon or something, the switch button should appear below that one, but not below the other ones. Um, focus ID, maybe. And the focus ID should start with minus one. Focus ID should be equals to no wait. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, wait. Uh, focus ID equals HS dot and I have a click. So therefore, here I'm on selector needs. A public int click which returns the focus ID. So right now it just pretty much does not does nothing. It returns minus one. Oh crap. And then focus ID becomes minus one, which is already is. But we need to make sure that if we click on a hero one selector. So if uh, we need to look at the other buttons. And I could just copy this and change it. Mouse, get state, blah, blah, blah. This is what I want to change. Focus ID. Can I even do this? Maybe. Iterator timer, here I'm on ID. Is that even used? Public int ID. Huh? Can I remove it? No. Uh, 
That's weird. We'll figure it out. That's not important right now. Focus ID should be equals to... Well, it's kind of important then. It should be equals to ID. Since the ID is zero. Where did I... All references. Yeah. I actually never say it's zero, it's just defines it as zero default. Let's just do that right now. Focus ID equals HS dot click and now I need a switch to keep track of the focus ID if No, K is zero. Switch button logic. So I need that switch button. And I also need it here. Switch button logic, yeah. Hmm. Should I make a class specific to Do I just put the button logic here? Like a private texture 2D switch button or switch BTN texture and Switch BTN box. Maybe this is ugly code, but uh, focus ID. So here, then switch button texture equals cm dot load. Selector switch button. Hmm. 
I think I need switch button. Do I need a switch button box even? I think I do. Or do I create a new one upon drawing? No. Minus a thousand, let's just put it out of range. Switch button texture dot width, switch button texture dot height. Okay, let's just say 50 and 200 at first. And then we need to calculate how big is the frame. It's 150, so 350 should be right. sb.draw switch button texture switch button box let's see what it looks like oh file not found UI selector switch button UI selector UI oh textures UI okay switch and if I click on this one then the switch button should be visible. That's actually pretty cool, holding down. But it's only as long as I'm holding down because the focus ID becomes minus one the second I drop it. But yeah, that's uh, that's incorrect. The size of the frame is way bigger than 150, I think. I think it's the miniature that's 150. So maybe the frame is 300. Then it has to be... What's it? 200 plus... So it's 500 then. Oh, no, 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 no. Three hundred, let's go. Okay. <laughs> uh, I feel stupid. The frame is 250. Oh, okay, okay, that's why. There we go. But the width is not big enough. It should be 215 width. Oh, but I made the button too small. What happens to the image if I just stretch it? Oh, wait. 
250 and whew, 50 no that's the wrong aspect ratio it doesn't work I have to give me a second I have to delete the reference I actually made it too small. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make it all over again. But I think I want it to be maybe 30 in height. complete remake of it I kind of know what I want to do is it wrong color there we go again where's the zoom there 100 percent okay so that's what it's gonna look like at the moment maybe we can use rubik 12 this time the eye looking like that maybe the eye is looking really weird in 12 14 really okay somehow it doesn't fit I think in in 14 maybe I have to give it 11 Anyways, switch to this hero mod. switch button let's replace it and I will import it again and now we see what happens oh this is wrong because we want it to be switch button texture dot width and switch button texture dot height. There we go. Switch to this hero mode, yeah. But it shouldn't be dropping when I release. that's something I have to change in the click function 
four. I do it here and say no. If mouse uh, mouse dot get state, I always forget this. I think the, the control on whether I press the button should be here instead. And this one should ask... If... I should have like... A, I think I have on this other like init button. equals true and hover changes whether on if I hover or not it's based on if it intersects mouse box say that hmm I think I should have an initial choice I have the mouse box actually we have the mouse box in battle so I could just give the update function Rectangle mouse box. Does that work? And I say that I need rectangle mouse box and oh. If mouse box dot intersects with box, Say mouse box then see what happens switch nothing oh my god it works perfectly <laughs> but the thing is 
this option shouldn't be there. On the active hero mons, you, you can't switch between the active and the active hero mon. So I also need to say that if case is zero, the color should be gray. Just see what that looks like. Mm, maybe light gray. No. Dark gray. Hmm. I want it to be almost colorless. But I don't want to make another texture for it. Ghost white? what that looks like. No. White is a bad color because it just brings up the... it brings in the most colors. I want it to be almost Maybe not transparent, but I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah, I can see it. Right. Okay. Do we have like a slate gray? Oh, that's, that's actually perfect. That's perfect. So, what I need to do next is... I need to make sure that the team is bigger. So I'm going to need, I want to make a team of three, and that way I can, maybe a team of four would be best to start with, maybe, maybe just start with two. Oh, hold on, phone is ringing. Mother was calling. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Create more hero mon. So we could make sure that team one. So we need to. 
let's call this my hero mon one and my hero mon two So it's easier to separate them. And my hero mon two is a new hero mon content. Hero mon ID six and moves should be move set two. And true. Just say no list hero mon. No. I should be able to make a Team just by adding my hero mon one, my hero mon two. Otherwise, it's a bad class, in my opinion. Public team hero mon HM one, hero mon HM two. Hero mon HM3, Hero mon HM4, and Hero mon HM5. And not just that, because we're gonna say equals null on most of them. And we loop. So, no, we can't loop really. Oh, I think that's why I made a list. It's easier to go around this problem. Uh, hero mons dot add HM one. If HM two in isn't equal to null, then hero mons dot add oh crap it's not focusing HM two if HM three isn't null Hero mons dot add HM three. If HM four isn't null, same mistakes over and over and over and over. Hero mons dot add HM four. If HM five isn't null, hero mons dot add HM five. There. So now we have a function that can add any number. Up to five. Well, the team are supposed to be maximum five anyways.
Okay, so now now that we have that the team has two, I wonder if something crashes then when I go to switch. Oh no, it actually puts the second one there. Let's see what happens if I punch. So the AI has 5 HP and I have 4. Switch, it's 10 out of 10. Okay, that's... So... At least some things work as they should. Because my second hero mon surely has full HP right now. 10 out of 10. So something is right. The hero mon selector... It's, uh, no, it's in switch choice, I think. It's taking team, player team. And it's adding selectors to the selector list. Active ID. Now that's really strange. Well, no, maybe not. I think what's happening is that I have two. That I have two selectors. And it's drawing both. Maybe in the draw function here. It's actually always. Wait, no. So if the ID, oh yeah, it comes to the ID, and the ID is always zero, so it always lands on the same place. Right. Hmm. So maybe, maybe I need to give it, uh, Selector ID and say that ID equals cell ID and here I would need to feeling that I'm going to have to think a lot about this actually see so if I give this one zero and no I can't do that Maybe selector list dot count should be the new ID. Oh, there. <laughs> this could be really bad. Switch. Oh, that's perfect. But now the. if I comment out this row then the switch 
button works. But as soon as there are as soon as there are two of them there's conflict. equals minus one each time and maybe I put temp ID here isn't minus one then focus ID equals temp ID and then temp ID equals minus one in the end every time no because it's drawing based on focus ID be if no it should be focus ID equals temp ID at the end every time Could be the problem. Oh, could have been the wrong order. Oh, that was actually the problem. Ah, so happy it worked. But now we have this problem. that is because as soon as I am releasing hmm, do I put the temp ID here and say that Temp ID equals minus one as well. No, now it never changes unless I click on that one. Uh, there should be for sure. 
something that checks if I land on neither of them. So... Wait... What happens if I put focus ID there? Same problem, okay. Maybe else focus ID. No, I already say that. Focus ID is minus one. Definitely here. So when I click on the hero selector. Actually, if I miss the focus ID becomes minus one and if I land it becomes the ID of the hero mode selector. Crap. And we loop through all the hero selectors, which is two of them. And it goes to the first one. If I click anywhere, it goes to the first one and checks, did I land in the box? Let's say I missed. No, let's say, let's say I landed it. So it becomes, focus ID becomes zero. And then temp ID becomes zero as well. And then we loop to the next one, which is missed because I landed on the first one. Focus ID becomes minus one. And if mine, if focus ID, hmm, So this one is skipped because it's minus one. Then we go here. Actually, I think this one might be better off here.
I don't have a case. One yet. I should definitely have it. Four hundred and eighty and one hundred. Four hundred and eighty and so two hundred became four hundred fifty. Then this one should be three hundred and fifty, I think. One SB dot draw switch button texture color dot white instead. So if I click on this one should end up there and if I click yeah that's perfect shouldn't be clickable but this one should be I think the positioning is bad on the frame and the switch button I could change that and I think when when that looks good I'm gonna end the stream for today I think it should be further to the left, maybe to an extreme point, and further up, maybe there, so 80 and 50 were the changes. Okay. Maybe a little bit further up. Or maybe a little bit further to the right instead. This one is 50 from the top. Oh, this looks really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna change how the background looks later. But let's see. Yeah, further to the right is actually the change I want to make 410 410 I need to change this one as well 50 50 yep there, looks good should always be gray at that point because the active one should be here so if I click on that one and then click switch to this hero one then this one I should go back to the battle and uh, take damage as this hero one but when I go back to switch again then this one should be here instead and this one should be there so I can switch between them again and I need to next time I think the first thing I will do is make a table of all the hero mon ID so if the hero mon ID is three like it is with the Lectos, then the name is Electus, and the base stats are yada yada and if the Hiromon ID is number 6, like it is with this one. Then the name should be appropriated for that and everything. So that's what I'm gonna start with next time and then continue with the switching. I'm semi-satisfied. I think it went okay this time. I think last time was a little bit more successful. But hey, not every time can be perfect. So I wanna wish uh, the viewers uh, a good afternoon. 
or a good night or a good day <laughs> wherever you live. Bye bye.